if you are using VS Code for programming. Do you know about the CodeSnap extension? This is an extremely interesting extension because it will help us easily save code snippets into images according to the original code format so that the recipient will easily be able to read those code snippets. In today's short video, I'm Lund Dev and I will guide everyone to customize the photos it helps us take so that when we send them to friends, they will look more impressive. This is also a relaxing video for us to relieve stress after too many coding lessons. If you find it interesting, don't forget to like and follow to update many interesting videos about programming and web design. Thank you very much. In fact, CodeSnap has assisted us in susteming it. You just need to go to settings. Find the keyword CodeSnap. It will display many settings that we can adjust. For example, padding, shadow, and even background color. For example, here I will change it to a different background color. Then close the CodeSnap window and reopen it again so it can update with new data. So, can I replace a normal color with a gradient color? So in the background section, I will change the hex code color to the code that creates the gradient background color. The image will convert from red to blue at a 45 degree angle. Then I relaunch CodeSnap to see what happens. The background color has become transparent because it cannot receive the gradient background color. It's unfortunate that this utility limits users to only allowing them to make simple color changes. So now I'm going to show you a trick to customize everything in CodeSnap. Anything you want to edit can be done. First, go to folder C. Next, go to the Users folder. In Users, select a folder with the same name as the account you are using. So here, it will have a VS Code folder. Here, we'll store VS Code data, including data of extensions. In the Extensions folder, find the folder name CodeSnap and click on it. Continue accessing WebView. Here, you will see a CSS style file. This is the CSS file that designs the interface for CodeSnap. I'll open it up. The problem now is, how do we know which element is the element we need to find? Open the command palette. Here, search for developer toggle developer tools. Then immediately a dev tool window will appear like when we code the web. Click here, then find the element you want to manipulate. So we know it was created from the snippet container element. So if I now want to change this background color to a gradient color, I just need to declare a background image property with a value linear gradient to create a color transition effect for it. The other elements are similar. If you want to change the design of any part or of another extension, just follow these steps. You can customize everything you want. It's great, right? This is a relaxing video after continuous coding exercises to help everyone feel more comfortable. Thank you very much, everyone. My YouTube channel specializes in creating videos sharing knowledge about web design and programming. If you are interested, please subscribe to the channel to continuously update new videos. Thank you very much, everyone. See you in the next videos.